Hello and welcome to the video. I'm Jimmy the Mower and today we're going to be unboxing, testing and reviewing this brand new Steger Essentials 140 AE battery lawn mower. So it only arrived yesterday morning. I haven't even had a look at it yet. I haven't even opened the box. I'm gonna try and rip the cellar tape off because like forever, my knife's down the workshop. Ooh. See if you can get it out and see what's in there. I'm mega excited for this one. Love these battery mowers, especially for domestic settings. I think they're great. Ooh, first thing we've got in there is a 20 volt dual battery charger. So dual battery charger, I'm presuming there's at least one battery in here, if not two. Let's have a look. Whoa, there is two straight away. That's a good start, isn't it? Two batteries, always handy. So there's the batteries. We've got the grass box next, if I can wrestle it out. Oh, and isn't that a bonus, eh? The grass box comes complete. A lot of mowers, it doesn't come complete and you have to clip these in all the way around and it is a bit of a pain. You see on a couple of my review videos when I'm doing these that they don't always clip in properly and they, they slip out. So to have one done at the factory, ready made for you, that's a real bonus. It's a good start so far, eh? Two batteries and the grass box complete. Get a bit of plastic out of the way. Nice little bubble wrap on the top. Ooh, instruction manual down there. We'll put that to one side and now, we got the actual mower itself. There's a handle. There's the one arm. There's the other arm. Take the excess packaging out. All right, that's the important bit. These connect the arms together, I should think. Normally you turn those round, you can lock them in and that'll enable the arm to fold up and down. And then there you go, that's the mower. Look at that, hey, light as a feather. Less than 14 kgs, I can pick that up easy. No problem at all. Right, I'll go and pop these batteries on charge. I'll have a quick flick through the instruction book and we'll come back and we'll put it together and give it a test. So we pop the batteries on charge over there. I've got the instruction book to hand. I have had a read through it and there's not really a lot to put together. Like I said, having the grass box already done is a real bonus. So I've got all the bits, put them all in the battery charger box because that way we won't lose any in the lawn. That's the worst thing to do. You lose something in the lawn, you can't find it. As soon as you mow it, you'll find it with a brand new blade and pick it up and ding the blade and waste the time then, you know. <laughs> you've like finished before you've started. So make sure you keep everything safe in, in the box. We've got no battery in there. It does take two batteries, but we haven't got any in. They're all on charge. So we'll keep that shut for now. Now, there's a few components. We've got the, the bottom arms that go either side. Then we've got the top handle on the top. And then in here, we've just got a couple of uh, different types of connectors just to put these together to stop them moving. And then last but not least, a couple of cable clips to keep this cable out of the way. So we start off by putting these together. Now, there's two height settings on there, one and two. And with the two height settings, we've got on here a tiny little bar on the top you might not be able to see that look closely when you get yours out and you'll see and you can point that at one or two if you want to point it at number one it's lower down in that sort of position okay and then we can lift it up slightly by taking it out and turn it around to number two okay and that's a little bit higher now i'm going to set it on the highest setting because obviously i'm quite tall and i'd like it to be uh, comfortable for me so I'll put it on the high setting now these are pretty easy to get in that's how it is we've clipped that on there to number two and we screw that in I hope I'm screwing that the right way it's always a bit strange working uh, backwards for the camera so that's gone in I think that's about as tight as we can go and there you go too tight look back it off a little bit a couple of turns oh on a couple more and that's it that's held in place right that's held in place Let's see if we can get one more turn on there but 
Whoa, that's nice and tight, yeah. That's it, one more turn, that's locked it up, that's great. Now we can put the one on, on over on this side. Now, he says right in there, left in there, right in there, and there's the corresponding letters on either side. It's a bit confusing, because if you stood behind the mower, this is the right-hand side, that's the left-hand side, but if you're assembling it, I think you'd probably do it from the front, and you think they'd be reversed, but that doesn't matter. As long as you match them up both sides, that's it. And again, we're looking for that little mark on the top, it's tiny on there, you have to study it really closely, and just make sure that fits on. We're putting it in number two to match up with that other side. So we'll do that and we'll get this one here. This is already pre-connected with the bolt. So it just goes straight in, turned round, easy. Simple operation, eh, to put together, it's good. It's what we like, keep it simple. Ooh, that's it, and I've got the tension right on that one. First time, so that's lucky. Now, we need to connect this to this. This is the, it's not the tricky bit, is it? But it's a bit more difficult on your own. So this goes in here and in here, like so. And I'll see if I can do it without dropping it. Now, there's two holes on here, and I think you can maybe extend the handle out, but if you put it on the second hole up there, that'll make it a bit more rigid. It'll hold it in because it's, you've got this piece of tube firmly clamped to this other piece of tube. And the way they fit together is with these. We have these bo bolts, coach bolts are called, they've got a square cut in the end. And the square that's cut in the end goes in, sorry, from this side, goes inside out. There's a nice square cut in there. We can turn around and that'll lock in. And similarly for this side, and that'll lock in as well. So that's how they fit. Those go through there. On the outside, we then have a washer. Now the washer, that fits on the outside as well. Don't put the on the inside because that's where the square would go, so put the washer on the outside. In fact, I think I should have put a washer on down here as well, and that would have spread a bit of the load from the plastic handles because we've got four in there and we don't need four for the top. So I'll do this and then I'll redo those and we'll see how we get on. Right, that one's on. I put the washer on to spread the load. Now I'll do this side and I'll talk you through it as I'm doing it. Let's pull it down a bit. Now, we've got this here. Put the coach bolt through on the inside. Put that through, lock in, thread that through. Then we then put the washer on. These are nice thick washers and washers designed to spread the load. Now, inside there, there's a little threaded collar and that's like a, acts as the nut and you just turn it round, easier said than done, in a clockwise direction. This does get a bit tricky. If you've got somebody to help you, all the better. That's it, I think we've got it started now, that's it. Now we've got it started, look. We can turn that round. Pull that up, oh, and that's it. Nice bit of tension on there, both sides. If they ever feel that they're not quite as tight as they should be, you can always turn them round again. That'll clamp it up tight. Now with these, I always put these facing upwards. And the reason I put these facing upwards is, if we're ever moving past sort of shrubs and hedges and whatever, and these are the other way round, we can get stuff caught in there and get caught in there and it snags the mower up. So if you've ever got a petrol mower with a starter rope on, always try and work the other side round so you're not pulling the starter rope out as well. These battery ones, obviously, no cables, no ropes, you know, simplicity really. Right, so that's it then, we're just about done. There's no mulching plug with this, it just opens up, the grass box is on the back there, you can see that, and this fits from there and we just clip it straight in. Should be easy. I haven't done this one before, so you never know how difficult they'll be. Oh, look at that, eh? Simplicity itself. Right, I've got the two washers left in here. 
that I should have put on there. So I'll do those in a second. And then I'm gonna put these cable clips on. I think we put one about there, just to hold the cable in place. That's nice. And we'll have the excess down at this end. So if we need to flex it, if we need to undo these and move it around, we've got some excess cable down there and that'll allow it to flex. Normally, I would say that we put the excess up at the top, but they've already thought of that and it's perfectly in line. So there's no stress on that cable there. It's not like it's kinked over. It's just a straight line, so there's no stress on it. So we'll run it down there nicely and we'll leave any excess down at this end. And then that way we can lift the handles up and down. Right. I just take these apart and pop the washers on and then hopefully the batteries will be charged and we can do a bit of mowing. So we've got it all built up. I've put the washers on either side so it's all done. Handle set at number two, so it's nice and high for me. Both sides, seems quite sturdy. Now, we move on to the batteries. We put them both on charge, dual charge, they both charge at the same time, which is always handy. And we press there and it lights up and there's four green lights. So there you go, four green lights. So we're good to go on that one. And hopefully with a bit of look, there should be four green lights on there. If you can see that in the, in the bright sunshine, four green lights. So we've got four green lights on both. To put the batteries in, really simple. But one thing you need to do first before you put them in is take this little key out. This little key, that enables the motor to start. It's just a, like a bridging key and it completes the circuit. So we've got safety up here on the handle and this is called a dead man's handle. So you have to push that in and then pull that up and that makes the mower run. But just to be on the safe side, we'll take the key out as well. Now to drop the batteries in, it uses both of them at the same time and they're really easy to clip in. They just go down and they clip. There's hardly any effort in there, they just drop in. So there you go, both batteries in. Then when we've done that, we can put the key in. So now the mower, will be now live. We've still got a safety up there and the dead man's handle. So apart from that, it's live. Before we start, we just have to have a quick look at the cutting height. Now, this is newly laid turf. It's been down a few weeks and because it's been so warm and dry, I've been leaving it high. So it's quite high on here. You can see a few seed heads on there and it's looking a bit shaggy and a bit rough. This mow is supposed to cut up to about 75 mil and I think we're already way beyond the 75 mil. So we'll put it on the highest setting and we'll see how it gets on. And then we'll know if it cuts this, it should be good to go on anything. Look at that then, hey, hey, I can't believe it. It's great. The grass is so long, you know, it's damp as well because it's uh, been uh, so sort of dry for ages and then we've just had torrential rain. It's damp. You can see a patch there that we've uh, flattened down when we were putting it together and I was kneeling around on the lawn, but it's all right. So you gonna have a quick look in the grass box and see how much there is. Now, you can see from the grass box there that we've got a good clean cut. And not only that, you can see the actual length of grass that's come off there as well. The grass length, you know, these clippings are long. They're not just fine clippings, these are long clippings and it's gone through. And with a 35 centimetre cutting width, it's not gonna take long at all to finish this lawn. So what I'm gonna do, I'll pop the grass box back on, finish it off, and then we'll just come and have a look at everything and see how it's done. So there we go then, job done with the Steger 140 AE. 
Great finish, nice and even all the way across, apart from that little flattened bit at the back. Now I said it's a 35 centimeter cut, it's actually a 38 centimeter cut, and there's a single metal blade underneath there. So we've got a single metal blade underneath there that gives you the 38 centimeter cut, but by the time you've overlapped it for the wheels, etc., you're probably knocking three or four centimeters off each time. So, you know, it's cutting about a foot wide or thereabouts. It didn't take me long to do this six or seven minutes and this lawn here is about 70 meters squared so according to the instruction book it can cut up to 350 meters squared so really half an hour you're going to cover most gardens with it really and it's still great i'm just going to check the battery though and see what the batteries say now you just pull that clip at the back and that lets the battery out and we'll just have a quick look on the battery and it's down to three lights so there you go, a quarter of what this, we've cut a quarter of what they can say it can cut and we've used a quarter of the battery. So you can't argue with those stats, can you? Now we cut it on the highest setting there, number five. The grass is really long here. Um, I could easily cut it down on number four with this, no problem at all, but it won't do the grass any good. And that's a little tip for you at home. If you're cutting the grass, never take more than a third off. And if you can help it, never take more than a quarter off really. And it sort of prolongs the life of the, the grass plant and gives you a better finish. I know it might take a while to get the, the, the height down, but it will give you a better finish overall. Right, I'm gonna pop this battery back in for the moment. So there we go. It's all done. We got pretty much about half a grass box in there. It's all nice and clean around the back of the mower. The underneath of the mower was clean, even though it's damp grass, it's picked it up and it's done really well. The only thing I forgot to mention was starting the mower. I forgot to mention that. I was on about the safety earlier. Now with the safety, we've got this here. You press this in, that's your safety. You cut, pull this handle up, nothing happens. You push this in and then you pull this and it fires away and that's the blade turning. We let go and the button pops out and you can't fire it up again. So remember, you must always push this in to start the mower, okay? So you know how to start it, you know how to put the batteries in, take the batteries out, cut the lawn and you can see the finish you get. Absolutely fantastic, great value for money mower. And also, down on here, we've got register your product now. Now I've been looking at this in the instruction book, it actually comes with a two year warranty. So you really can't argue with that. What a great product. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video and you found it informative and maybe even entertaining, who knows? Give me a thumbs up, subscribe if you can, follow me across all the social media channels and if you've got anything nice to say, you can pop that in the comments section below. I'll put a link to this mower and some other Steger products down in the description so you can have a look at those. If you want to take a look at my website, jimmythemower.com, then please feel free to do so. There's loads of information on there. Thank you very much for watching. I really do appreciate it. I'm Jimmy the Mower. I'll catch you on the next one.